Episode 1. Kenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after a plane crash deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of his quite of this quiet apocalypse. Okay. What are the green survivor? Because I don't know how to play this game. Green survivor for new players, most interested in pensive exploration and storytelling, most of them are turned to be very forgiving. I want to do capable. Exploration survival. Wildlife is sparse, but can seek you out. Challenging, but resources are plentiful. Yes, we're gonna do. We're gonna just do medium because if you do too easy, it's gonna be like. No, we'll do. We'll do normal. I put that on silent. It's on snooze. Why would it do that? Fuck you. The long dark. I'm not a fan of the. Of the singer. That's just me personally. <laughs> nice house. <sighs> Can't see a dang thing out here. Astrid. Astrid. Oh, there's something in my hand, I think. I gotta turn the brightness up a lot higher. I can't see. You guys probably can't see either. Astrid! Oh, okay. We're not moving yet. <laughs> okay. 12 hours earlier. Okay. Jack rabbit hanger. Joker, that's a wolf. Joker. Oh. Seems about right. <sighs> Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I okay. better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. Holy crap, one sec. Okay, can't turn up the brightness, I guess, in the game. That's a rip. But anyway, I have to open this, put fire in the stove. Okay, okay. Newsprint. Oh. MB uses Tinder. I'll take it. Why not? I guess. What the heck is this? Oh, a ah. picture. A rare McKenzie family photo. Miss you, Dad. Wood matches. Take 100%. Okay. I don't know what any of this stuff means. I gotta put wood in the fire? Cooking pot. Take. Map? Great Bear Island. Dad used to fly there all the time. Oh. He said it used to be beautiful. Not much reason to go there these days. Since Let's the quakes and all. Pick. I suppose to put wood in the fire. Pick. Start fire. Okay. Accelerant. Optional. None. Start fire. Starting fire. Okay. Come on. Okay, there is no animation to start the fire. It's just a loading bar. Okay. It is story mode, so I will let it do its thing. Explore the hangar. Okay. Open the door. Cardboard, Tinder plug, breaking down, loading bar. Okay. Loading bar is interesting. Those were better days. Okay, it's <laughs> the photo. Uh, can't look at it. Jack Rabbit Poster? Remote transport. Zero flights a day to the mainland communities, and well, anywhere really. That sucks. Yeah. No water. Right. Pipes froze up again. Rip. Getting pretty late in the day. Hot plate. Guess I could take a nap. Take a nap. I don't know if you want to do that, do you? You're tired. Take a nap. Okay. Okay. Can I climb up this ladder? No. Oh, what's this? This is a space bar. Okay, interesting. Mackenzie's parka. I don't remember needing my parka this early in the season. Well. Plane. Here we are, old girl. 
Your best flights may be behind you, but you're still beautiful to me. And anyways, you're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great adventure. Bro. Adventures are nice, you know? You don't, you don't want to, like, die, but, like, that's part of the risk for adventures, you know? It's, adventures are adventures. Adventure is out there, they say. How do I take a nap? <laughs> Hello? Adventure? What could that be? It's adventure calling. That's what that is. Oh, here it is. I'm like, where the hell is the phone? I can't see it. I found it. Oh, a cinematic. Jack Rabbit <clears throat> Transport. Anyway. Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. For once, we you not be so damn Whoa. Well, well, slow down, Maureen. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd fly her north. I know you need the money. You got redness on your It's sir. okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh, uh. Hola, como estas? Well, Who the fuck's that? What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah, years. I haven't heard from you since. I know, I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well, what brings you? I mean, are you sick? <laughs> No, no, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. Nice. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Oh. We hit a nerve. I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Don't do it, man. Questions. Don't do it. Astrid, are you in trouble? Don't do it. Are you gonna help me or not? No. Don't do What's it. In the case. Shit. See, there's that thing about no questions. Remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No. What's in questions. the box? Look. No. The weather out there is bad. Bad. It's Let's frightful. Worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Now say no. Yes. Shit. Astrid, you can't bring him back. Ooh. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know... Anything. That's nice. You'll say no. I feel it too. Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. Don't do it. Yet. Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. <sighs> Throw your bags in the plane. Shit. I'll get started on pre-flight. Oh, you're so you're so dumb. Better buckle up tight, cause it's gonna be a rough ride. Ah, oh. you got suckered. That's what happened. Got suckered as always. Men. Let's see, two people plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. Select extra cargo. Optional. Pfft. Listen. Okay, there are some men that are dumb. And some men that are smart. Okay, it's cold out there. We're taking stuff, okay? Where are the matches? Never leave without matches, okay? Never. Where's the matches? I think I already picked it up. I'm not gonna lie. 
Can I bring the alcohol? Shit. Why can't I bring the alcohol? What else can I take? It's probably just the stuff that I got off the... That I got off the table and whatnot. It's probably nothing else out here. Probably nothing else out. Oh! Reclaimed wood. Yeah, I'll take that. Hell yeah. Okay. Astrid traveling pretty light. The mysterious. Take case. all that. The distress pistol. Take that. I can't take the coat though. Astrid First aid. Uh, all of it. We take. We take all of it. I can't take this coat though. Breakfast of champions. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Is there a pot anywhere, my guy? Maybe some food, friend. Cheap electric crap. Never works when you need Sweet it. Sweet dreams. Herbal tea. Whatever. I'll take it. God dang it. Okay, we take all this. What the hell? What the hell is that sound? I'm out here clacking around. Yeah, this, this is good enough. Let's go. On to the plane. Okay. On to the plane? Let's go. What's my objective? What am I missing? I do not comprehend the situation here. Is it this hatch, maybe? Ah. Oh, I see. I see. Distressed pistol kit. Hard case. Well, this case has to go. Case has to go with me no matter what. <sighs> Can't take all of it. Backpack. Just We're doing this. Parka and we can go. The what? Now I can grab the backpack. Nice. Okay. Probably should have brought food, but I really want that backpack. This is a survival game, you know. Wait, did I bring the food? I think I brought the food. I see you're still wearing it. I brought the food, yeah. Huh? Wearing what? Our ring. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, I just forgot to take it off. Uh huh. <laughs> I wear mine too. Why? Memories, Love. I guess. Good times. I thought you wanted to forget. Maybe they had a son. Maybe their son died. I should have looked for you. I don't like it when stories constantly hit at something that's obviously keeping them from, sep you know, separating. Because this all seems pretty familiar. You still working with that researcher, Doctor? What's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor. That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and just drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? I'm not here to fight, really. I think about him all the time, you know? And here we go, more hinting. No, that's about the father. The choice I made. I did it for us. You don't have to. Let's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's... And then they crash. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. Told you. <laughs> that's why I don't like... It's not good. What's that kind of storytelling? Because like, it's so predictable as to what happens. The whole electrical system looks fried. This part I like, though. This is new. What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold no tight. power means we're going down. Yell it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta act like it's... Like it's... Like shit's going down, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. And now we're here. Astrid. The part where I can't see a damn thing. 
because I can't turn up the freaking brightness for some reason. Astrid! Hmm. Now I walk. I must have gone Don't right walk. through the windshield. But you should be dead. Trees broke my fall. What trees? Oh, mostly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess the trees are on the floor. I guess. Okay. All right. That's fair. <laughs> Use first aid to stop the blood loss. Stop that bleeding. That's the wrong thing. First aid, band aid. Everything is in pain right now. I don't have a band aid that I know of. A stick. Take it. Stick, firewood. I gotta find my stuff, probably. Oh, now I really can't see. <laughs> take, take. How do I make a? How do I make a bandaid? Too cold to think. Oh, it, okay. Can I make another bandaid? Nope. Trash. What happened? No, this is just try to climb out of the raven. Ravine, I mean. Okay. <laughs> the ravine, yes. Uh, I'm gonna go this way and see what happens, I guess. Can't really run, so rip. The stick? The stick. Nice branch. Make even more sticks. It seems that it's, as I'm standing here, I'm dying. I'm not covering that. Okay. I'm standing here and I'm dying. I could probably climb that. Okay. How do I do that? Oh. Okay, cool, cool. How do I climb stuff? Oh. I just do it. All right, no problem. Damn. Hurts Why? Too weak. Oh. So now what? Matches. Find shelter from the co from the cold. Okay. Go back into the cave, I guess. Is where we're gonna go. Ah, yes. This looks. This looks nice. Use fires, okay. Bed, all right. Uh, campfire. Whoop. Campfire. Let's put that right here. Start. Okay. Playing the waiting game. Water, cook, torch, add fuel. Sleep in the cave. Okay, let's just sleep and see what happens, I guess. Bed. Oh. <laughs> Astrid hasn't come looking for me. Mm hmm. Which means she can't come looking for me. That is a good observation, because sir. Because she's hurt. Or worse. I'd better get back up to the crash site. Break down, start fire. Do I need? Do I need stuff? I. I should. I'm starting this fire. Torch, cook, recycle can. I can't cook nothing. Oh, okay. Melt snow. Sure, yeah, let's... Why not? 19 minutes to melt snow. What the hell? I'm gonna die. Past time already, thanks. Drink it. Thank you. Thank you for letting me pass the tire. All I got is water. Okay, well, lo at least we won't, you know, whatever. <laughs> Torch? Hell yeah, brother. I don't think I need this, though. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Uh, let's not worry about any of that crap. Let's just go up here, I guess, and see what's going on. I don't need this right now. 
I can light it later. I'm gonna just put in my backpack. Hell yeah. Put that away. Let's see if I can climb this again, I guess. Thanks, man. Cold is making my head feel thick. That's okay. <sighs> we got it. There's berries on this bush. Holy crap. Taking all that. Okay. It looks like I can climb this. All I can think about is food. Say, I think I got some. It's usually not a good idea to eat berries. But we're literally on the verge of dying, so... Uh... Food. Medical can. Where is the inventory? Okay, well, let's just keep climbing, I guess. <laughs> Can't eat the berries. I don't know. Get the berries. Okay. <sighs> Saving. Okay. Hello? My plane. My plane! Not sure which of us looks worse. Poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Mm mm. Mm. She just said no. I've been looking for I'm you. I'm taking this. Hell yeah. She just said no. Backpack? I need more of that. This don't come handy. Nice. I can't just take the backpack? Astrid's pack. True. Is it unlocked? Locked. Never mind. <laughs> Why can't I take the backpack? Just pick up the backpack. Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died Dang for it. it. Also, how do I get to the inventory? Oh, okay. Can I eat the berry? No, I can't. Eat this though, probably. Eat. There, at least I won't die for a while. Okay. Okay, how do I put stuff on my character? Character. Okay, clothing. Okay, I got stuff on. Okay. I have a backpack. Oh, well, if I knew I had a backpack, I wouldn't have taken a backpack. I'm gonna point that out. Mackenzie's pants. Thermal underwear. Can I put these on? How do I put this on? Oh, I have them. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that, all that I have on already. Goddamn freezing. Bandage. Oh, sure. How are you freezing? You have clothes on. Uh-oh. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, I can't make a fire here. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Oh, yeah? You, you need to not die. How about that? That's a good idea. Let's do that first. Okay. Start fire. Don't die on me, brother. Ah, okay. It worked. Yes. Just stand near the fire. Holy moly. Stand, oh my god. Stand near the fire, you're fine. Stop it. Stop moving around. This is literally life or death right here, and you're fucking around, okay? Stop it. Just stand near the torch. That's not what I wanted to do. I mean the fire. Just stand near the campfire. Give me that back. What if I just stand like this? Will it will it warm me up? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, it did. Okay. I am on the verge of dying though. I don't have anything to cook with. Oh god, I should have taken that food, shouldn't I? I should have taken that food if I knew it to have a backpack. God dang it. Wait, am I supposed to go up here? I don't know. I'm so confused right now. Yes, I am. Okay. She definitely passed through here. Definitely. Hurry. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. That's fucking wood. <laughs> What's this? Can I take this? If I could just fucking move forward? Risk infection, okay. Holy moly. Let's just go forward. Let's just, you know, we're not going to mess around anymore. We're just going forward. 
Go forward. Just go for- Okay, I will walk backwards, whatever, I don't care. We'll walk backwards, it's fine. Let's go forward. <laughs> we might have to restart. Because- <laughs> Because I cannot walk like this. There's a campfire right there. Okay. Someone's been here recently. Yeah. Could it have been Astrid? Not food. Never thought I'd be dying from starvation. <laughs> you're dying from a lot worse stuff right now, okay? First of all, you're cold because you can't walk forward. For whatever reason, you just choose not to. Yeah, hypothermia. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm gonna accept it. Like, if I die, I die. <laughs> you know? Where did you go? I'll die if I don't warm up soon. No shit. Walk forward. <laughs> That's a wolf, I think. That is a wolf. We're dead. We're dead. We're, we're fucked either way. Either way we go about this. Walk forward. Holy crap. <laughs> Just go forward. Oh, is that a wolf? Yeah, it is. Here, eat me, you some bitch. Go ahead. Eat me. Thank you. Nah, I ain't doing shit. I'd rather die than have to keep facing that crap. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't even care. At least I got fucking health back so I can move forward. My wife. <sighs> Thank you, Gabe. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. All right. We're fine. Oh, is that a wolf? Yes, yes, it is. I better keep my distance. Okay. Yeah, it's eating food, so we're gonna just it's gonna just sit there, it's gonna do its own thing. We're gonna go this way. Now that I can walk forward. <laughs> We're going this way. Whoa. Oh, what's that? Got a radio tower. It does. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. Okay, climb down, don't jump down. I'm not picking up anything. I'm not exploring shit because I'm not going to survive out here. Even though I have clothes on, I, for some reason, am cold. Maybe it's just because we're up in the mountains, maybe, which I would 100% understand. There's crows over here. Hello? Radio tower. Okay. A new location. Nice. What is this? Someone's just sitting here. Life-saving supplies. What the hell? Pink. Great. A town. Okay. Maybe I can find help there. Oh, nice. Let's just not fall down. First. Okay. Ah, it's damn it, it takes a while to come back, god dang it. Oh. Smoke from that chimney. Oh. That means someone's home. Investigate that house, okay. Knock, knock. Hello? Anyone out there? Hola, como estas? No? Okay. Oh, look, another dead body. And a chest. Here. A hatchet, I'm gonna take that. Oh, oh my god. Searching. Frozen empty corpse. That makes sense. Yep. Okay. <laughs> this whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Brew? Nothing in there? Hello? Dark as Hello? shit. Hello? Anybody here? He's a blind man. Hey. Hey, wake up. Holy shit! Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. True. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? The question. I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? 
Uh, thought so. You know what outsider means? Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. So, must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane at True? Yeah. crashed in the mountains nearby. I died from a wolf. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. Yeah. A friend. Yeah. And some stability, because I can't walk, apparently. I haven't seen her. Listen. Her? How do you know it's a her? You maybe point that gun someplace else? You think because my eyes are covered, I can't see you? Make the wrong move. Say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you're here, things must be worse than they thought. Uh, who are you? Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name once. Okay. For years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. The name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade can only be remembered by the young and the true. Okay. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. Yeah, no, duh. No shit. Gun? We're not gonna talk about the gun. Oh wait, there was another option, I think. Town. Oh! Town. <laughs> Where are we? No. Forgotten town, deep in the mountains. You're far from home. But uh, where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm, and my compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. I didn't ask that. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's oh. the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. Now, bad man? I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. Oh. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp, others, like a dream. Let me think, let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. Sitting here with a rifle in your hands. You expecting trouble? Trouble. trouble. Okay, he just acts about the gun. Okay. Me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> They were wrong. Brute. Bad men. Okay. So the blue is just part of the story. Okay. The men, they, they passed through town. Mm -hmm. The night of the storm. The night of the lights. I'm looking for my friend. The northern lights? She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. 
then there is always hope. Hurt. Okay. The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being whole means you're weak, but they underestimated Grey Mother. Oh. It seems they did. Mm hmm. Supplies? I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you up. We're going to need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is going to make it through the next few days. Do you have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad man took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes. Kind of, but I'd rather live. I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Outsider, Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. Okay. Thank you, the Grey Mother. And everything else is whatever. Don't care about that crap. All right. Find supplies to help Grey Mother. Okay. See on map. Oh, nice map. Got a church. Got the gray mother. Got the gray mother. <laughs> All right. So we're at the house. We got to go down here to get the gas station for supplies. Okay. And that's the radio tower up there. Okay. Can't see anything. So I don't know if I'm... Okay. Can't see a dang thing. So... Uh, I have no idea. I don't have any food. If I die, I die. <laughs> Credit Union, oh my god. Should have been burned down by now. We need to find some place to escape this cold. Wow, I can't see a dang thing. Amazing. Like this, yeah. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah. All right. Hello? Anybody in here? Search trash can? Nothing. Amazing. Excellent. Oh, ho, ho. Grape juice, bro. Damn. Cardboard box. Nah, we're not going to break that down because I don't want to waste any time. I don't want to waste any time on things that I don't need to waste time on. You know what I mean? No oh, thanks. Hello. Locker. Oh, scrap metal. Sure, why not? Empty. Nice. Okay. Well. <laughs> right? Hmm. A vault. Okay, well, let's look at these, these lockers. That one's locked. Newspaper. We'll take it. Locked. See food right there, actually. Around that shelf beside me. Nothing. Hello? This will come in handy. Coffee? That's not food. Shit. Nope. Nope. Microwave. Coffee. I'll drink that. Hell yeah. I hope I keep the cup. Fatigue reduced. Ooh, nice. Okay. It's the register. Nothing. Cool. Take the paper. Take it. Nothing. Okay. I want that. Metal shelf. 
hacksaw to break down. Okay. No, 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 that. Don't do that. Can I open this? Bank vault Locked. can't open. Can't get in here yet. Can't do that either. Okay. I'm taking all this. Okay. Seems pretty good to me. Leave the bank. I hope it's not dark outside. Ah, it's getting pretty dark. So I am facing the house. So the bank is... I mean, the gas station is way the heck down this way. I'm not going to explore much. I just want to get to the gas station and then get back. Yo, hello, sir. What's happening? Well, another stranger. That's me. Have you escaped the town? Escaped no. The town? No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways, then. No. You look weary, traveler. Come. Warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. <laughs> what? I'm here to witness the passing of an age. Okay. What do you mean, the passing? Can I just say Matt or some shit like that? You see the signs? Uh, where's Astrid? Town? Do Astrid, I guess. I'm looking for my friend. She was with me when my plane crashed. But it looks like she must have made it out alive. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. All have gone into the town. I haven't seen any come back. Town? What is this town? I don't recall seeing it on any maps. This is Milton. <laughs> Paradise Lost. It's a town of the old world. Discarded. Left behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. Oh. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. That sucks. You seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Yeah. And this whole place feels strange and empty. The quakes changed everything here years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? No one thought the world would end this way, but how could they not have seen it? It's probably just the storm. Power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. I'm not sure anything will ever be back to normal. That's fair, yeah. Cars. Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running. People abandoned them. Nothing but metal coffins now. True. You always this cheerful? My heart weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you'll have to live with what remains. Go okay. safely. And good luck to you. Thank you, sir. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'm looking for gas right now, apparently. Not sure what else I'm looking for, but gas is one of the priorities. Hmm. Oh, I fuck. God dang it. Because I didn't hold the match down. It's just like, nah. Shit. Now I really can't see. Now we're screwed. It was, I, I swore I saw some food here, but I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. I'm going to just save it right here and figure out how to freaking turn up the brightness because I cannot see. There we go. Now I can see. I can see so much. All right. Box. Matches. Take. Peaches. All this food. I'm taking all this food, dude. Not the dog food. I'll, oh, whatever. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm taking all of that food. Okay. Yeah, I had to go to the menu to freaking turn up the brightness. I can't just do it in the game for some odd reason. But even, like, even then, even if you turn up the brightness, you still can't see it. It's purposely like that for who knows why. 
Well, I understand why, but like, why? You know? Uh, cloth. Papers. I'll take these, sure. Anything in here? Bandage, some, some of that stuff. Cool, cool. Alright. Paper, whatever that is. A book. Some water, nice. Worn driving gloves, okay. I can see enough to like be able to at least see stuff you know what I mean like holy crap anyway uh gotta stock it with food so I can't even eat the food I think uh, I would like to cook this these because I need food like I know that I know that grandma needs food but I need food, like, oh my, oh my god. Okay. Warming up. Alright, thanks. Okay. Could end up being useful. Oh, interesting. Okay. Is there anything else I need to do? No. Build a firewood bin outside. Okay. I do have an axe right here. How do I equip stuff? Don't know how to equip stuff. Okay. <laughs> Let's just, I guess, go. Pretty sure there's a wolf over there. Bye. Oh, shit. Need more firewood. That's not good. Okay, well, let's just open this, I guess, for now. Hopefully there's a bed in here I can sleep on. Is there a bed in something in here I can sleep on? By chance. Just put up, put the whole thing in there. I need forty kilograms of food. No, I got three thousand out of eight thousand. Okay, well that's fine. Now it's morning. At least I can see. Okay, I need food. I'm sorry. This is just coffee. I need this. I can't get stuff if I'm gonna die. You know what I'm saying? I could probably put this on the pot, right? And then make it safe, maybe? Okay, one hour. We're gonna leave that there. We're gonna go and look for more stuff. We're gonna have to just scavenge the houses, I guess, and see what we can find. Oh yeah, this is nice. Look at that. Look at that. Let's just go explore the houses for food. Okay, not that one. <laughs> Apparently. Rip. Food and gas. Open hood. A car battery. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah. Brain risk. 
Whatever. Oh, I can drive a car? Oh, that's pretty dope, if I can. Shit. Your mom. Oh no, the bunny! Not the bunny, no! That's a rip right there. Just killed a harmless bunny. What the hell's wrong with that guy? Let's go this way, away from the wolf. I'm not here, sir. Okay. I am not here, sir. Oh, a sprain wrist because I'm carrying a, a car battery, apparently. Where is the car battery? This. If I drop it, does it go away? Yeah, it does. Okay, let's just leave that in the middle of the road. Because I don't want to sprain my ankle. Looking for food. Ah, uh, this is a house that's going here. Okay. Not a whole lot going on in here. Matches. A metal pail. Okay. Ah, uh, crate. Yeah, I'll write that down for wood, sure. Leather. Not really a whole lot going on here. We need to find you just ate, bro. No, you didn't. You only had to like two things of tuna. Never mind. Okay. I keep forgetting I can't jump in this game. Can't go in here? Oh. Okay. Post office should have some food of some sort, I would assume. I'll take that. A backpack. Oh, hell yeah, bro. I think I can use this. Take. Okay. Newspaper, okay. Alright, nothing really else going on in here except for that. Okay, leave the post office. I think I checked this one on the way here, but I forget. No, I didn't? I have no idea. It looks like I did. Not a whole lot going on in here anyway. Let's leave. Oh, huh. fridge? Nothing, freezer. Nothing. All right, cool. Cabinet? Nothing. 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 Oh, ton of sardines, nice. Nothing. Nothing. Matches, noise. I'll take that. Okay. Medical stuff. Nothing. Oh, a thermal underwear. Don't need. Okay. There's an upstairs. Might as well go upstairs to see what's up here, I guess. There is a bed. Okay. Don't really need that right now. That. First the drawer. I could use this. Flash shell. Okay, cool, cool. Ah. Picture. That's pretty much it. Nothing down there. Alright. Okay. We're getting places, bro. We're getting places. Little Canadian flag right there. Hell yeah, brother. I'm good. Door's locked. Damn it. I'm gonna assume that none of these would have... Food. The trunk of the car might have food, but like, can't really do nothing about it, can I? I don't have nothing to pry it open. But I have to travel farther out of the town to go and look for food and then bring it back. Is that what I have to do? I prefer not to do that, but I guess if that's what I have to do, then I guess I'll do it. There's no fridge in this house? Hello? Hope nobody needs this. Anymore. Oh, nice. Dog food, okay. Cloth, wood matches. I got two and one for that one. 
Okay. Tin of sardines. Nothing. Okay. I could eat anything right now. Sure. There's the fridge. A rabbit in the fridge? Interesting. I would like to eat the rabbit, I'm not gonna lie. So I don't die. Nice. Thank you, sir. Alright. Keep on going. Keep on firewood. I need that. Little pale. Candy bar. Bip. Two books. I don't know what the hell that is. Wool scarf. Wow. Can I equip that? I have it equipped. Nice. Well, I, I hope I do. If it's on the character, I would assume that I do. So, that's all I'm saying. I don't think there's anything else in here. There's blood on the floor right there. Okay, uh, wood. Transfer. I'm gonna put the car battery in here if I... I don't think I can, actually. Can I put these sticks in there? 1.95 out of 12. Can't do that. Was it at now? I'm gonna assume that it's good to go. I'm gonna assume that if that's good, then maybe I can put stuff in here. God dang it, so close. So close, but so far. So I just need to get 8,000 for the fridge, and then that's it, then I'm good. I think we have to go to other places and explore around more to find more food I would assume but the map isn't that big so I'm not a hundred percent sure really so I watched some YouTube videos that would explain to me how the game worked a little bit I wouldn't ruin my own experience I felt like there was too many mechanics about this game that I probably wouldn't have found out on my own which would have led me to rage quitting and probably losing interest back to the story I reverted the brightness back to default because the areas that you want to see will always be dark and the areas that you should be seeing will always be lit. To counter the dark areas, you have to light a match or a torch or find a lantern or something, right? Otherwise, it'll just stay dark no matter what you do. When I first started, I didn't look up any of this information before I started playing, which led me to dying within the first little bits of the game. I went to sleep to make it day and went back out to find more food. My first destination would be the barn to the far east of the map. I knew that I could go into cars, but I wasn't aware that I could search in the glove compartments. I didn't find anything in the car that I went in. I stopped in a nearby house to see what was inside. I found a can of condensed milk, lantern fuel, cloth, herbal tea, tin of sardines, a candy bar, print, newspapers, a book to burn, a book I think I can read that I also found out on YouTube, socks, a vest, and another scarf. After ravaging through the house, I started heading towards the barn again. There wasn't much out here besides some wolves in the field and a wolf eating a human inside the barn. What I did find was another axe and a workbench. I lit the barrel on fire so I could Fire's get warm again here. before heading back to Granny's house. I had successfully made it back when a blizzard was about to start and it looked like it was going to get much worse. It did. I deposited what food I had collected then went upstairs to sleep. When I woke up, I brought my hunger and thirst back up again and decided I would take a trip back to the gas station to see if I had missed anything. When I first entered, I thought I had seen a tin of food sitting on a shelf to my right, but it was just paint. When I looked down on the floor, I seen four boxes of crackers that I mistook for books because I can't see a dang thing. I also seen a pack of beef jerky on the floor that was sitting next to a cooler. Inside, there was an orange soda pop and a tin of sardines. I looked around a little more using a match to light my way and found three cans of pinnacle peaches sitting on a shelf. The matches also don't last very long. I wasn't able to find much else in here, so I left, and I decided to make my way to the church to get there hopefully before nightfall. When I entered the church, there was very little inside, but at least there- Light the damn match! <clears throat> at least there were items I could still use. I looked around a little bit before sleeping again. In the morning, well, the very early morning, I should say. I made my way back to Granny's house to deposit all the food I have found. I have finally gathered enough essentials to continue the story.
But that's another video for another time. Call me a